right. This is one of the first orientations for IS-19V. Um, I want you to realize that this course is um, very independent. Um, you're going to hopefully have a job in the technology arena, or you work in something that might deal with technology on your everyday job. Um, to get credit for IS-19V, you only have to take one unit of it. If you would like more, you can, and we'll talk about how you get more and how many hours you need for one unit in IS 19 V. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh share my syllabus here. Let me get my syllabus opened up and I'm going to share my screen. Make sure I'm recording. I am. And I'm going to share this screen right here. Open. And you will see my syllabus. Um, my syllabus covers a lot of stuff, um, but mostly it talks about some of the prerequisites, like how many hours for completion. Hopefully you went over it. Um, talks about the class, talks about job placement. Um, if you are currently not employed in some place where you use some type of technology, I'm really I'm willing to stretch as far as I can. You can talk to me on an individual basis. I had somebody who worked um, in a retail store, but there was some areas where they can go observe the person that was running the major technology and some of their job was major tech well, was working on some technology and we're able to do that. But I do encourage you to participate or find uh, work within your facility first. If not, um, you may contact um, recommended the CC job developer. Here's his email or our career center and you can find something and maybe they can help you find something on, on campus. I don't, um, I can't go out and look for jobs. If I don't have any, usually sometimes businesses, technology firms will come and say, Hey, um, I have like a, you know, a 60 hour one time, uh, uh, internship they can do, but I don't have any of those on the books right now. Um, I'm going to keep out, put my feelers out, but all you need for the units, if you're getting a certificate in IS of some sort, you only need one unit. If you're taking the course because um, other classes were filled, and this sounded like a good one, you can have up to six, eight units. And we'll talk about that. I'm going to scroll down here. <clears throat> for one unit of paid, it's 75 hours. A week? No, just one time. So if you spread it out over the 18 weeks, you just need 75 hours for the one unit. If you are volunteering, you just need 60 hours. Okay. There is some paperwork that I need, but you can go up to eight units and or I only do six units because it's a lot. So you're going to say, Mr. Neighbors, how many, if I volunteer for four units, I need 240 hours over the next 18 weeks. If it's paid and I want four units, it's 300 hours. So it's 75 times two, 150, 75 times three, 225. So everything's in 75s here for paid. Everything's in 60s for un or volunteer work. Okay, so that's how you can start from there. My office hours, you can always Zoom in with me at one o'clock. It's a group one. I just sit in my office and I turn on Zoom. And if you show up, you show up. I'm really excited when people do visit me. Um, grading. We have an objective sheet, 25 points, a visitation, an online visitation where I kind of like zoom in with you and your employer, or they just kind of say, hey, here I am. Or you can actually just upload pictures to prove that you are at that workplace. And we'll talk about that in just a little bit more. Visitations. Okay. That was my visitations. The timesheet. Okay. 25 points. And your contract, that will be 25 points. Okay. Objective sheet can be done fairly soon. Visitation can't be done till the end. Your timesheet is turned in at the end and your contract will be at the end. So the only thing you can be working on is the syllabus quiz that you can take as many times as you want to get the perfect grade and your objective sheet. Uh, here's some of the policies, all right? Um, here is your supervisors at work responsibility or your internship, your student responsibilities. You're responsible for all the paperwork. And my job, I serve as a liaison. If I have to reach out to your employer, I can just ask questions. 
Um, I'm here to help you be successful as a student. You can contact me. Of course, I have a con I have this uh, Canvas site, and I'm going to get out of this syllabus. Okay. So you're asking, okay, where are all this paperwork? Well, I'm going to go in as a student so you don't have to see all my stuff. First three weeks, take your syllabus exam. If you don't like your grade, take it again. Still don't like your grade, take it again. I saw some people had eights. Let's not leave those eights up. Let's get tens on them, okay? Um, your objective sheet, you click on it. Okay. Oh, that was the quiz, huh? Let me go back one. Modules, objective sheets. Um, it should be here. I have to load that. It wants to, oh, here we go. Sorry. Take it. Let's look at it. Your objective sheets. I will load the papers up. You can get them right here. Um, I got to put the objective paperwork up. I see that it's not up yet. And I will do that very soon here. Um, all it is, is just what you need to do in the class. Let me see if I can find it here. I'll leave student view, leave it. Um, I'll go to the files and see if it's hiding in here. Uh, course documents, logos, syllabus. Um, I will have to upload the contract because somehow it didn't get in there. But you'll go to your module. And when you go into your objective sheet, you'll print on it, you click on it, and it will open it for you. And it'll open it up basically in a Word doc. If you want to type in it, answer the questions. And all you have to do then is when you're done, save it and re-upload it into your Canvas, where we were, the Canvas quiz. You just click on it right here um, and away you go. You will see it'll, I'll have the folder. It says objective sheet. I'll have it included in here. Um, then at the end, we'll do our timesheet. You can print those off once you get to them. And I don't think I have those loaded as well yet. We'll get those all up. And um, you can also do your contract at the very end. So this you can start working on. This is your objective sheet. I'll get the sheet loaded in there for some reason. It was an oversight on your instructor. Um, I'll get those out. And then you have all the rest of this stuff you can do at the end of the semester. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to go back into um, question and answer mode. Let me see. Okay. Um, if you have questions, you can ask them now if you'd like, if you have any questions. Yeah, I have a question. Yes. Um, so for, for the units, so, um, so for four units, is um, you said 300? Are you getting paid? Yes. Yes. So it's, it would be 70 times, 75 times four. 75. It looked like, I think it was 300. And Dominic, you took this class before, right? Yes. Yeah. So it's going to be the same thing. No different. Okay. You know, the same paperwork. I just got to get it uploaded on there so you can do it. Okay. Okay. And then if I, um, so for starting, because I started work back on the eighth. So I do, I I'll do the timesheet from the eighth until May 17th? Yes, you can go all the way back till May 17th. Okay, and how many hours, so if I do that uh, five units, should I, is that cutting it close to 375 hours? Yeah, well, look, if you, that's, we're gonna go 18 weeks. Okay, let's just say for 17 weeks, you work 40 hours. Is that what you're doing? How many hours a week are you getting? I'm working, so one week I'm working 20 hours. Okay, 20 times 17 will give you how many hours you'll have at the end of the semester if you continue working 20. So that'd be 340. So yes, so that's where you're going to be. But it's kind of your call if you make those hours. You know what I'm saying? Here's what I would do personally, everybody. I would I would sign up for two units. And then after you get about six weeks in, seven weeks in, go add another unit make it three units. And once you get the units for 225 hours and you still have a lot of time within the semester, go for four units if you can. 
You see what I'm saying? Because you can register even up the last week, you can register for more units. Did you know that? You just can't get out. But if you have four units and you take it at the beginning of the semester and it comes to the end, let's say last three weeks of the semester and you, you're not going to make it, they will not take those away and refund you. But if you buy in increments as you go, they will, you can do that. That's how I tell my students to do it. Other questions from people who might be out there in, in the video land. Do we have to go to the other um, orientation? No, you just have to attend one of them. Hopefully this helped you, Caitlin, so that you know what's going on, right? Yeah. How are you doing this semester? Um, this is the only class I have. Okay, good. So far. Okay. All right. Well, keep me updated. Do you have you have okay. an employment? You think? Um, I emailed the job director and the um, career center person. Okay. Remember, you only need one unit, and sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get that rolling. All right. Okay. Okay. Other questions, Jonathan or Hannah? Did I help you out and figure out all the questions that you need? Yes, I was looking for the sheets, but you said they're not uploaded. They're not up, and I'll I'll have them up if, as soon as I can. Okay. That was my bad. Um, yeah. For the job, would it be anything slightly related to technology? Yes. Are you getting an IS certificate? Yes. What is the, what is the slightly you're thinking of? During lunchtime, I help students use the ID number to put into the computer. So we track. So like uh, you're like a technical support type of person. No, I'm nutrition services. But on lunchtime, you kind of serve as a technical support with the technology, right? Yeah. Okay. Then I would, I would okay that because it's kind of like technology support. Okay. All right. Okay. Other questions? Okay, so um, where I work, um, so mostly I do like scanning document. Is that technology or I have yep, to do- Yep, that, that's 100% technology. Okay. 100%, you're utilizing technology for your employment. And can you learn from somebody who's above you in the technology area so you can maybe grow some? Yes. That's perfect, it's what I want. Okay, so I let so I let him know. Okay, and then and for for the adjectives sheets, um, do we turn that in? Three Once weeks? I post it, you can okay. put. What you have to do is you got to download the objective sheet. You're going to have to have your boss or your supervisor, somebody who's you work with, sign it and justify that you're there. That's the state needs to know that you're there working, and then you need to upload it. I'm pretty lenient on when that has to be in. I just don't want it in on the fifteenth week. But, okay. I want it to end about the 10th week. You're a little behind because I am behind. So, okay, so I'll let him know. Okay. Okay, else out there. Now, if you struggle and you're still, I mean, if you're once I put the sheets in and you're uh, the upload those documents that I need to, and you're still having some struggles you're more than welcome to check in on the next orientation next Monday. In the, and I think it's in the evening. Everybody, okay? You don't have to go to one. Some people are just looking at the video. Um, but if you want to check in with me again on Monday, totally fine. So I have a question. Hannah, what can I do for you? So um, what if you don't work in like, a job that has to do with computers at all. Well, where do you work? I work at Panda Express. Um, are you looking for a technology certificate? Yeah. Um, now you're working with register systems and you're working with a lot of stuff, point of sales. Do, is there anybody that comes in and troubleshoots that or that you can kind of say, you know, every once in a while, hey, can you show me what you're doing or can I help you in that restaurant or find out some background about how the technology is working? Um. I mean, I can do that, but I don't know if like my managers will allow that. Well, you can ask, 
But in the meantime, you know, as while you're looking for that one unit that 70, 75 hours or 60 hours going mm -hmm. through the, you know, like w the links I've given you through the school to find maybe some, some places you can do. You can also ask at the college and the technology center, uh, the people who run technology there at Clovis mm -hmm. Community, they sometimes let people come in for 60 hours and just kind of observe and help. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. Maybe nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sign off. I'm going to stop recording. Um, if you're still kind of confused about what's going on, uh, please join me next Monday. We're not losing time. You're not losing anything right now uh, because this course, really all it is is the paperwork turned in and you working. It's not like there's a test or anything. So I'm going to turn off the video for right now.